guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Go ahead and excuse me, it is super windy out here. And, uh, but, oh, looky here. This guy. This video is gonna be about this guy and a couple others. Um, I'm gonna show you up close what's on his horns. Um, there's some red, there's some orange, and I'm gonna explain to you why he has that on his horns. So you guys know, I love Dunbar, our bull, our main man. And he's a good bull. Well, I hope he is. If we don't have babies this spring, I'm gonna be a little upset. But this knucklehead, I tell you what, he is a mess. So this is what he always does, is this right here. The troughs, that's a brand new trough. And uh, he is always dragging it out and, uh, He's beating all kinds of feed troughs up and he keeps dragging this all the way out here from this lot to here. And look who's coming. Look at the herd. They saw me out here. I thought I could sneak out here and grab that feed trough in time, but I didn't get to. They saw me. All it takes is one and guess who it was right here, Eleanor. She always pays attention. Here comes the herd. And so I'm gonna feed and then uh, try to get that feed trough back because we need room to eat. Today I want to talk to you about this knucklehead right here. This guy, Dunbar. He has just been, like I said, a knucklehead. He has destroyed feed troughs. He's knocked gates off the hinges. And I want to talk to you about that today. I've got some really good footage for you. Not only Dunbar, but probably one of our more aggressive, this is why she has her name, Bella Star, right there. I've got some good footage I want to show you guys today of just bison being bison, I guess. And, um, you know, he's not a mean bull, but I guess he's just bored or he's all tensed up or something. Let's get to showing it to you. So I got to go out in the pasture again and retrieve this feed trough. The feed trough looks a little bit different today. It doesn't have the feed trough in it. So this is what's left of the trough. I'm sorry about the wind. 
it's it's Oklahoma guys I, I apologize it, the wind always blows in Oklahoma some days a little bit stronger than the others but so I don't know what's going on with the bison I mean we know that they can be naturally aggressive but I don't know what's going on with them lately uh, Bell Star has been aggressive um, Dunbar's destroying the feed trough and the gates and whatnot we're gonna have to bulk up on our hinges a little bit more but I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know if they're anxious for summertime to get that green grass. I don't know what's going on. But you know what? Relatively, my bison, if you pay attention, are pretty calm compared to some videos out there and some footage that you've seen um, in some of the national parks like Yellowstone and whatnot. Mine are pretty calm. That's because they're used to people um, like me and my family. So that's why um, ours are pretty calm. So that's a good thing. I've talked about why it's important for them to be around people because we're gonna work them and we feed them and whatnot. And when we do that, we want them to be used to us so it makes life a whole lot easier. You can see all the orange or red from the feed trough Dunbar's been beating up. You can always tell what he's marking on, whether it's a gate or a feed trough. Our feed trough are red and our, <laughs> like that one right there, and the uh, gates are orange. And so this is what Dunbar does. I mean, look at that. Bent hinge bent hinge and this is what he likes to do is knock the gates off the hinge
So yesterday I decided to uh, fly the drone up. It was a really pretty evening. The bison were down in the, the bottom pasture. And so when I did that, um, this is the first time ever, Bell Star. Oh, told you about this aggression. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, Bell Star did not like my drone. <laughs> It was really funny. I've never seen him do this, but she was in, in not a good mood. I don't know. Maybe, I think she's pregnant. She's she's huge. This is the biggest I've ever seen her. Um, obviously, she's carrying a baby. baby. Uh, signs, we should, we should start seeing those signs. But anyways, watch this. This is, this is really good. She did not like this drone. So as most of you can tell, I'm gonna have to invest in some heavy duty feed troughs. But I don't know why he just picks this one feed trough. Such a knucklehead. Well, the bulls are having fun. Um, anyways, but uh, yep, gonna have to invest in some heavier feed troughs. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Just to see some of these behaviors by the, some of these bison, you never know what you're gonna get. Um, just watch some of my videos. You put a tractor in the pasture, or a drone in the air. Um, it doesn't matter. You never know what you're gonna get out of these bison, but you gotta love them. They're full of character, these social animals, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, baby is doing great, by the way. She is healthy and mama is doing great. Thank you for all the congratulation comments. I love it. You know, it's a big, big uh, change in life and I'm absolutely love, loving, loving it. Love being a dad so far and my wife is awesome and she's a, she's a great mother and um, she's even a better wife so thank you guys for following us thank you for all the positive comments and um, keep following us along with a small uh, bison farm in southern Oklahoma thank you guys